Hi everyone, today I'm talking about my new stock that I've just invested in and I talked over the, like, the last two videos that I've basically got into Walgreens and I got into CBRE stock and I said that I've also bought into quite a bigger position um, and this stock is actually a bigger position that I've got into than them two. Um, one of my biggest purchases for a while and I bought into Facebook stock. Now I was deciding between this stock between Nvidia and Facebook, basically I had about enough money available that I was happy to spend with that I could either buy Facebook or Nvidia. I could I could have bought half and half but I wanted one of them to be quite a big position. Um, so really I was the choice between if I open into Facebook or Nvidia. And I felt like Nvidia's got a little bit of a rough ride going forward um, this year. Still a great stock in my opinion, um, but I felt like it was a little bit of a rough ride. And also Nvidia had a bit more of a jump, whereas Facebook had a bit more of a pullback. So that helped me see a bit more value into Facebook. And Nvidia I felt like I just kind of missed a little bit of the profit there. Still, I still believe that stock will go up a lot more, but I think Facebook has the potential to go up more than what Nvidia does in the short term uh, and the long term. So Facebook, I'm going to go a few reasons why I got into the stock, what I really like about the stock. Um, but if you do watch the channel quite a bit, you know that I'm a big fan of Facebook. I've talked about it quite a few times and that I still think it's a, a good value right now. So Facebook stock is a stock that's pretty much, I would say, is a stock that's quite hated by the media. The media like to throw a lot of news out about how it's not doing a good job. But recently we have seen a video over the last year, two years, to actually try and go to the point of view where like, Right, we're, we're going to grow up slightly and you know what, we're going to look after our customers, we're going to have some values, we're going to try to look after people and they didn't really have that a few years ago. Um, obviously that's cost a little bit more money to spend to do all that but previously they haven't really been too bothered on, on all that kind of side of it and that's kind of led the media to be kind of like um, hate on this stock. You know, there's a few stocks in the stock market which the media hate and I'd say Facebook is one of those stocks so obviously now and then Facebook always does take a bit of a pounding on a couple of days um, due to quite a few media articles that come out about it and when I invested in that stock that's something I'm prepared for, that's what I'm ready for and to be honest with you I feel like that could give me some a few dips to average in a bit more and um, potentially and um, we'll see what happens but Facebook I entered in at 170.58 per share that's the price I bought my shares at um, what I really like about PE right now is uh, about Facebook is that PE. The PE is down at 21. And when we look at this growth, this is kind of like a lot of these companies that are growing at this growth. You're getting in PEs at around about 40, maybe 50, um, really high PEs. Um, and Facebook's really low down in the 20 range, um, which it makes me stand out as well. When we look at the sector it's in and a lot of the companies that trade at a lot of these um, growth rates and it's at that PE, this shouts under value to me straight off. Um, so that's one thing, big thing that caught my eye. Um, EPS, EPS growing at 16%, nearly 17%, that's exceptional. Uh, the like f amount of like overheads that Facebook have are hardly any. So a lot of the kind of uh, services they do, which should mostly come from the advertising side of it on the platforms, you know, there's not really any cost in that. They just kind of need to keep up to date on the kind of website and the apps and all the social media apps they have. Um, so there's not, it's not expensive cost is that. So their money that they're earning is actually really good. A lot of free cash, which I'm going to talk about again in a little bit. Um, sales is still growing quite well at 21%. Obviously daily active users is one of the things that people are looking at going, you know, that's kind of decreasing. But even though it's decreasing, it's still growing and it will continue to grow going forward. Um, growth, like I said, growth, when you look at this growth, this growth is amazing on that piece. I'm really happy with that. Number one advertising platform. You know, Google's a good one. Facebook's even better. Facebook has the ability to, for companies now to go out and advertise directly to an age bracket, interest to have, a location, and not many platforms out there have that billboards on the street can't do it tv adverts can't do it so that advertising platform is really good i like google's as well and there's one reason why i like google but facebook's is even better than google's just because of how you can target who's going on to it the way that you can get people to go from your advert to liking your group and keeping them re retained when they see your advert that's really good as well the discount side of it now this stock's trading at 170, uh, well, when I bought it in 170, I think it's gone down slightly into the 160s now, but it's trading at 170. And we talk about this stock that was like near the 220 range a year ago. So a stock that's growing, that's gone down that much on that much of a discount. That's like nearly a quarter of its share price. It's 
on such a discount right now at this PE, it's unbelievable. So the discount on this stock is definitely insane and I like a stock that has a discount. I always buy in stocks that are on sale because you get them for cheaper. And also talking about this EPS side of it, because they've grown with such good growth, hardly any hover heads, this means a really good balance sheet. Now this balance sheet means there's a lot of spare cash. Quite a while ago, Facebook were really against buying shares back. It's only recently they've started doing that. And that's a really good thing to see. They were very slow doing it, but they're doing, doing it now. They're buying more shares back. And my kind of long-term kind of thinking right now is dividends. You know, dividends. Are Facebook going to go dividends? Now, they can afford to go down the dividend route. They have the cash available. They have the free cash available every month. They have the balance sheet available. Now, they were quite slow to do dividend, uh, to buy back stocks and uh, shares and buyback programs. Dividends, it could be quite slow. We might not see this for years, but at some point I feel like Facebook could be sitting on that much cash that they are going to look at dividends at some point and it would be a great dividend stock if they do just because of the free cash they would have available. So my long-term kind of view from it is, you know, the dividends are possible in this stock uh, if I'm holding this a long time. And yeah, overall, I really like this stock. I'm really happy about this position. Um, I really wanted to get back into this company and I'm really happy that I got back into this position and have it back in that portfolio. Um, another sector that I'm back into that I really like. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of like looking to hold this to 220 to 250-ish. That's probably where I'd sell out going forward. So uh, yeah, we'll see what happens with the stock. But yeah, I won't sell this this year. Um, we'll see what happens in the future but that's kind of a tag in my head right now but you never know things change so that's me today guys talk about my last position that I bought this month which is uh, Facebook stock I hope you enjoyed the video I hope it helped you, helped you out if you're looking to get into Facebook um, so I hope that was useful for, for you um, my next video guys probably will be the free stocks that I'm buying into April um, so that probably be up in about two days time um, so keep an eye out for that Thanks for all the support recently guys, we're on about 195 subscribers now which is really good. So thank you for all that support and um, hopefully we'll hit the 200 range before the end of April which would be really good. So thank you um, and I'll see you in our next video.